Others would define mathematics as an art, a study of patterns, a language, a process of thinking, and a set of problem-solving tools. However, others seem to disagree. Some people believe that mathematics equals chaos and confusion. Meet Carl. Carl was less than interested in mathematics, to say the least. Continuous were the days where he was unable to wrap his head around its concepts. He felt as if he was in a constant state of conflict. It did not help that his math teacher was always irritated, further straining the relationship he had with the subject, a subject he now despised. They did not mix well, and he had no plans on changing it. Wow. Do you guys see that? Why are you so gassed? It's just a bug. It's ladybug! Ladybugs are more fascinating than you think. A ladybug's spots warns predators from eating them. They use symmetry and patterns as an added trait for survival. Simple but effective. They all look the same to me. Um, Don is such a donor. Isn't it kinda cool? I only know about that today. Yeah, okay. I'm not interested. Carl, unlike his peers, sees mathematics, no, to be exact, the entire universe like dark clouds on a beautiful day, a painting without color in a monochromatic photograph, constantly living in a world he views as black and white. With his mind in such a state, only his thoughts are left to wonder. But that's just the beginning. We all have to start somewhere, and this is Carl's first chapter. Carl! 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 What's got you spacing out? Your friends are here. Hurry up! Carl had an excuse to be like this. Yes, he had a bad teacher, but it wasn't only that. It was pointless, he thought. So what if something had pattern or what if something had symmetry? It didn't matter that much in life. What made him like this? He wasn't so sure himself. But he does know one thing, that right now he wants to be alone and not with his math-loving friends. Ready to go to the beach? Eh. Let's go to the market first. I still have some things to buy. Pick up the pace. As Carl, his mother, and his friends walked towards the market, a gray cloud followed his head. Left to walk aimlessly, and as his mind wanders somewhere else, he is jolted back to reality by his friend's squeals. Look! Look! Look at the flowers! Pretty! Did you know that lilies and iris flowers have three petals? Buttercups have five petals. Some bilfiniums have eight. Corn marigolds have 13 petals. Some asters have 21. Whereas daisies can be found with 34, 55, or even 89. <laughs> it's all in the Fibonacci sequence, of course. The what now? Wow, how I did not start. Matt is so cool. Can you guys just stop? This is so annoying. Can you stop putting math in everything you do? This one time, I get to finally get away from that horrible math teacher. I get to have two friends to replace her. Don't be like that. Math is not all that bad. Our wondrous and beautiful reality can be explained by it. Math is not only inside the four corners of our classroom. It's not only worksheets and tests. Look around you. This market is full of it. Do you see it now, Carl? Math 
isn't all that bad. It gives order and understanding. I've had enough. Let's just eat. I'm hungry. What? Did you really not feel any different after all the effort we put into introducing mathematics in the modern world in hopes that you would appreciate it? Yeah, sure, sure. Maybe mathematics isn't so bad after all. It's just not for me and I don't really care. I just want to eat. Look, there's buy one. Get one free promo going on. Let's get that. Two sets of burger, please. Look, Carl, they're using the golden ratio as a marketing tool. More of this? Seriously? Every store can deny that there are money-conscious customers out there, so promotions are being offered by them as part of their business strategies. It is suggested that the needs of cautious buyers of every store will be best met if the vendor sets the ratio of successive pack sizes as the square of golden ratio, like 2.62, and the price ratio at a golden ratio 1.62. Thus, the golden ratio can be used as a marketing guide for vendors who are considering both their own and their customers' best interest. And another thing, higher profits are more likely to come from golden ratio sizing. So like, three for the price of two? Yeah, it could be. Ah, never thought of it that way. All right. Guys, there's one burger left. Who wants to eat it? Oh, I'm okay. We can divide it into three parts to be fair. Okay, I'll do it. Here's for you, and for you, and for me. Why is Isaac so small? Did you know how to properly divide a circle into three parts? Oh boy, here comes Newton the genius again. You have to consider how many degrees are in a circle and how many slices you need. Let's say this burger has 360 degrees. We have to divide it by 3 and so a cut of 120 degrees is optimal. Who would go through all that trouble for splitting a hamburger? I can see where Newt is coming from. I don't want anyone to feel bad. Wouldn't want to be unfair. We're used to you, but other people would not be so tolerant. A lot of people will be angry getting the short end of the stick. Guys, guys, let's play. Just like old times. Let's choose a coin and whoever correctly guesses the side of the coins two times in a row gets to pick one person to throw in the water. Probability? Cakewalk, I'm in. You have to play with us, girl. Okay, but I will be the one tossing the coin. Game. Tails. Tails. Heads. Last. I'll go with the tails, since heads already came out earlier. There is still a chance that heads will still come out, so I will go with heads. How about you, Newton? Hmm. Let me think. Hey, why are you taking this so seriously? You're thinking so much, it's weirding me out. Heads. Ha! I won. Nothing but probability. Since I won, let's toss Carl into the water to cool his head. Hehe. <laughs> Carl was left to his own thoughts as he watched the sunset with his friends chuckling behind him. His day began with his math teacher yelling at him, then his friends dragging him out to hang out. He planned to sulk and just stare aimlessly at his wall all day, life dull and head empty. But oddly enough, he doesn't seem to regret going out with his friends like he thought he would. I'm beginning to see what those two are seeing oddly enough. I have them to thank for that. Maybe they were right. That math was fun and enjoyable. And right now, I guess I could see the world more colorful today